and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heining, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, what are you Bob. Doing, Brad. <laughs> okay, today we're gonna to talk about to improve your balance, you must address this issue. It's a seven-step system. This is an updated video. We did it once before. We're going to improve upon it, make it a little bit better for probably the older person. Right. Am I correct on saying well, that? Well, we found out that 80 to 90% of the people who watched this were 55 and older. So we're going to gear it uh, so it's even more, more towards that age group. Right. It's going to be more efficient. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please oh. take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Starting tomorrow, again, check on our website, bobandbrad.com, because we're always doing a giveaway, and we're starting a new giveaway then. We're finishing up one now. Right. Go to giveaway. Also, you'll find it on Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page starting tomorrow. And uh, if you want a short version of us, go to Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok. There we are. I don't know why Mike's looking up on the air. There <laughs> The lighting is oh, different. Yes. Okay. All right. So, Bob, balance, big issue. You know, you start to get a little older, or if I've you have been having trouble with it, I'm yeah. so tall. My my has such high arches. Right. Taller people have more of a balance with it. If you've had an injury and you're re a sprained ankle, you'll find out that that leg, the balance on it, is going to be much worse than the other leg. Correct. And uh, just the, the aging process. The proprioception, which is the key on all of these, is something they have to address. And uh, typically, it's not addressed unless your physical therapist. Now you can define that, what proprioception is. Yeah, that's a good point, Bob. Right. Proprioception is your mind is being aware of the location of your body parts without looking. Right. So oh. I know my hand is off to my right right now. I know that I'm moving my fingers. I know I'm touching my thumb to my little finger just right. by without looking that's proprioception right and in this case it's where are your feet yeah are they underneath you off to the side as well as if you're walking on an uneven surface it's got to correct rapidly right and that proprioception is what allows you to walk on an uneven surface and your ankles and your hips are doing all kinds of gyrations to keep you upright without you being aware of it and when that system starts to get broke down your balance goes down with it. So these exercises are going to cue uh, that in and really fine tune that uh, to make you more stable. So should we, we start? Go. Let's start. All right. So the first thing you want to do is find out how bad is your balance, or maybe sure. one leg is better than the other. And we do the 30 second balance test. You can have a chair to hold on to, a cupboard. We're going to use a bullion stick. You can I use a cane. I think we should say first, Brad, before any of this, you know, safety comes first. Sure. We do not want you to fall while you're trying to improve your balance. If you're really bad, you might want to put a belt on, right. have someone hold on to it. Uh, another thing, you could use a booyah stick. Sure. You could use, be next to a countertop, right. you know, so that if you lose your balance, you can grab onto it. Good point, Bob. Yep, we want to stay safe. Uh, you're probably wondering what this ball is here, and we're going to use that. We just didn't have it hanging yep. there. There's a specific reason. So just to test your balance on one leg. Here I'm standing fine. I've got the, the booyah stick or whatever you're holding. Now see if you can do that like this. Yeah, I'm bad. <laughs> And if you can go for 30 seconds without having to touch with your foot or touch the cupboard or the chair or the boya stick, that's pretty good. Then check the other side. Chances are you're going to find one leg is better than the other. If you have an injury, it's going to be very clear how bad the one that's recovering is. Uh, if you just have problems with your balance as part of the aging process, you still nice to know which leg is worse or right. which one's better. Right. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do that 30 seconds balance test. Count how many times you have to touch to catch your balance in that 30 seconds. Write it down. And then after you practice this for a week, you can do the same test over. And see if you've improved. Right. Instead of touching the floor 10 times, it might go down to three times, which I've done many times with patients. Sure. All right. Here we go. Number one, with your feet, you're going to go heel to toe. So your right I'll heel. Side. Okay. Right heel is going to touch your toe. Okay. And then you're just going to stand there. And see how that goes. And look straight ahead. Don't look down at the floor. Look straight ahead. I'm going to use this ball to look at. Now, what I'm going to do is get this ball moving. Because when your eyeballs start to moving, that affects your balance. So now I'm going to watch that ball. And you can see how it's really throwing my balance off. 
just because I'm watching that ball move. Now you don't have to put a ball on a string like this. What you can do is just pick a spot on the wall and then move your head right to left. Yeah, we even it, in the clinic, I just have even, when I'm having people walk, I just have them work on moving their head right. left to right. Because even, you know, that's how a lot of elderly people fall, like on, on like holiday events and stuff. They're, they're getting distracted by a, their niece or their nephew or right because their, their proprioception is yeah. not intact and the vision goes off and, and they it turn turns and, and down yeah. they go so after you do this and you feel comfortable doing this and it's working that way then you go to the next step and then you're going to do the single leg balance just like we did before but again get your visual practice 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 make sure you do both legs and you may not want to go 30 seconds you could go 10 or 15 seconds to start out with again get the movement going with your head and you can see I'm having much more difficulty when I'm looking at that ball going right to left. Make sure you do it with both legs. When that improves and you go to the next one and we're going to do just the single leg balance, same thing here, moving back and forth. Oh. You're gonna do it with the eyes shut? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> eyes wide shut. Yeah, so we're gonna do the same thing here. Instead of the ball movement in any visual, we're going right. to take that out and close your eyes. And this really throws people off. I'm not too bad at this, but I've had a lot of people get this bad. And then make sure you do it with yeah, one leg. <laughs> one leg balance and close your eyes. You know, if you got your stick or something to hold, just use it and it touch helps. it. Yep. Yep. And go for that. It's nice to have a timer so you don't have a, a clock to look at. So you got something to beep, little... Uh, uh, egg timer for right. like, like cooking, sure. set it at 15 seconds and see if you can hold it for 15 seconds. Again, if you're really wobbly, someone should be right next to you right. to hold you. Yeah, because you'll uh, go down. Let's not, again, no falls. Let's be safe. Right. So that's all the static ones we're going to do. Now we're going to be on number six, and this is walking, but we're going to put a challenge to it. We're going to do the heel to toe. So your heel has to touch your toe on the other foot. And when you do that, you can start out looking at your feet and see if you can do it with your cane or your stick. And once you get that down, try it looking straight ahead. And that's quite a bit harder. And this is really proprioceptive because you're trying to touch your heel with your toe without looking. And you can feel it when everything is intact. Okay, if you've had a stroke, you'll find out that one foot is much more challenging. Again, you can do it along a counter too. That way, you Good know, point, you're, Bob. you're having something that, solid to hold on to the entire right. time. You bet. So, Okay, so you're going to do the heel-toe walking, and then you can also go backwards, which is <laughs> quite a bit harder. You know, these are getting pretty advanced, particularly when you got your eyes closed and you're doing that. But wait, there's, there's more. more. <laughs> We're going to get a, a cushion. Now, you can get take a, a cushion off a piece of furniture if you'd like to. You can get a cushion from a, a bench seat that you use on bleachers, something for hunting, something that's squishy or and soft. a boat seat, you said, right? Yeah, a boat cushion, a boat yeah. seat, whatever you have that's convenient. You know, you, this, these are kind of expensive, what we use in therapy, yeah. but they work well. But uh, you don't need to spend that much money, either $50 or so. But it's squishy. Your feet go in it. And that challenges your proprioception even more. So we can start right at the beginning. We can start here and hold heel to toe and do the same thing. Look straight ahead, eye movement right to left, and eyes closed. You can do that with one foot. And if you look at my ankle. Yeah, look how it's working. It's really working. That's really, and then eyes right to left. And I'm using my booyah stick because it's really challenging without. Okay, and then eyes closed. It makes you tired, Bob. Yeah, and you've got actually really pretty good balance for your elderly years. <laughs> I mean, speaking of someone that doesn't, I don't, but you you actually, so, and you look how you're working on that thing. Yeah, you may not even get to this point, and that's not necessarily, that's pretty high level, uh, but if you like, if you're someone, and you're golfing, Bob, sure, we've got another... Uh, Little exercise here. Exercise that, you know, when you're walking and you're using your hands with movement or pulling right. or pushing. Gotta uh, maintain your balance. Yep. Yeah, what you can do is you take a band and you gotta connect it to the wall one way or another. We've got our wall anchor, which works out really well. But you can tie it to a, a doorknob, something sure. solid. And it's not gonna be very strong. Okay. And you can just work on 
a pulling motion like this with both feet. And if that goes well, make sure you go both directions. See, and this is working your core, and this is making you your, your core and balance at the same time. Right, so, which is all part of balance anyway. Right. So this is real functional. If that's too easy, repeat the same steps like this. I got my heel to toe, and you can see I'm being much more challenged. Okay, you can do it with one hand. If you want to do a, a golf swing, we can go like this. So you get ready for the golf course if you happen to be a golfer. And you can do the one-legged. Now this is even more challenging. Whoa, and if you do it with your eyes closed, it's really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so you see the system, eyes open, yeah. eyes straight ahead, right to left, eyes closed, while you have different uh, challenges with your feet for that proprioceptive uh, feedback. And as we've said on ad nauseum, Safety, right? Safety, safety, safety. You're not going to do this by yourself in your house. Right. You've got to have somebody with you and someone that's got good balance. Right. So you both don't fall yeah, over. So that's happened to me before. <laughs> <laughs> it did. I had a patient. I was showing her how to perform transfers, and she did it beautifully, ten times in a row. Yeah. I had her sister transfer. They both fell down. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was I was a young student. I started crying. I almost to well. the doctor. I might start crying. I, was, <laughs> I got really teary eyed telling the doctor. I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> They didn't oh, get hurt. They didn't get hurt. Oh, I was great. really lucky. Wow. That yeah. happens, Bob. Uh, even, was... even to the best of us. Yeah, even to the best of us. So. <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, good luck on your balances. Stay upright. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for watching.